Una was sweet and a little bit salty, like the ocean where she lived. She was also brave and curious, like most treasure hunters. When Una was just a baby, no bigger than a scallop, she chased a pearl into the mouth of a whale. Lucky for her, she popped right back out. As the years passed, Una found bigger treasure and even bigger trouble. It's a good thing she has Otto. Una rescued Otto from an oyster net when he was just a pup. She taught him tricks like sit, roll over, and walrus. And her favorite, pufferfish. So Una came about through Mermaid, which if you don't know, is a yearly drawing, I guess, invitation to artists to draw a mermaid for every day of May. And the first iteration of Una was actually this little girl with a lionfish tail that my agent really adored. And so I ended up using her for the first mermaid that I did with some slight adjustments to her hair. Uh, which my agent wasn't too fond of, so I decided to make that into an afro. And actually during Inktober, which is kind of like Mermaid, but it takes place in October where artists uh, draw an ink drawing every day in October. So I added a little afro to the mermaid and kind of cheated Inktober and did a completely colored image of little boy capturing Una, who then had a just normal green mermaid tail. And so my agent took the image that I made and up to New York to see um, my now editor who fell in love with Una to have her start her journey towards becoming the book that you see before you today. Uh, so right now I mostly paint digitally, but I'm trying to get back into traditional tools because I really like the feel you get when you draw with something in your hand, like the tactile feel of paper and markers, uh, charcoal, watercolors. It's just really fun uh, seeing something come to life, especially when you go through the ugly stage and it becomes this final piece that you can be proud of. So funny thing, I draw mermaids, but I'm not very fond of the ocean. Uh, I live in a place that's lucky enough to have really pretty beaches and I like going to sunbathe, but the ocean itself, I tend to stay away from. Uh, I tend to go after picture books, like wander around Barnes and Noble just to see if anything catches my eye uh, to inspire me art-wise. And this book that I got a couple years back by an artist named Ira, um, she's on Instagram and she does really amazing watercolors and I watched her YouTube videos a lot in my early days of painting and made me think that I could one day do something as gorgeous as her art.